Joanna Yarrow, environmental expert and author. Now we all know it's important to be environmentally aware and to try to do more to reduce our carbon footprint, but we can often feel we're just too busy to make changes to our lifestyles. And anyway, those changes can often seem like they're going to be too expensive. Now the good news is, it really doesn't have to be that way. Ariel is highlighting simple, inexpensive steps you can take to increase the amount of green good you achieve each day and save you money at the same time. All these steps can be taken throughout the home and I'm going to show you just how simple they are. Let's start with the washing machine. Many people think that washing their clothes at lower temperatures won't achieve the results they want. But not anymore. Over the last few years alone, 72% of women have changed their laundry habits to wash at lower temperatures, saving themselves energy in the home. If you too switch to 30 degrees instead of 40, you can save up to 40% of the energy used each load. Not bad for a start. Now I'm going to put a load on. It'll take about an hour. And meanwhile, let's see what other changes we can make around the house to save energy and money. A great way to save water while you're washing up is to use a simple washing up bowl. Now the reason for this is that the washing up bowl only contains about 8 litres of water, whereas if you were using a running tap, it would be using about 9 litres every minute. Another water saving tip is to fill a bottle or jug with water from your tap and put it in the fridge to keep cold. That way you don't have to wait for the water to run cold. Remember to recycle the waste in all the bins in your house, not just the kitchen. Showers only use about a third the water of a bath, but you'd be surprised how much time you spend actually avoiding the water soaping up. Or keep things short, use a shower timer like this. Set it to three minutes and it'll count you down and beep at you when you need to stop. Replace any inefficient bulbs with energy saving ones. If you replace all the bulbs in your home, each year you could be saving yourself 50 pounds and 170 kilos of CO2. Over the lifetime of the bulb, you could be saving 675 pounds and three tons of CO2, according to the Energy Saving Trust. And remember, none of the changes you'll make will take much time, but they'll all benefit both you and the planet. When you're leaving a room, always remember, turn all the lights off. The Energy Saving Trust tells us that just one 100 watt bulb left on for half an hour produces enough CO2 to fill a party balloon. With your radiators, if you've got thermostatic valves like this one, turn it down when you leave the room. Just heat as you go and you'll be much more efficient. You could also fit a radiator panel like this onto the wall behind. Now this reflects the heat into the room instead of the wall, again making the radiator much more efficient. Take a few minutes to fit draft excluder strip round your doors, letterbox and windows because that could save you £25 a year and mean that you can turn your thermostat down a degree without noticing, but you will cut your heating bill by about 10%. Get yourself a water butt, you can collect rainwater to use both on your garden and to wash your car. And don't forget composting, which is important because by composting all your kitchen waste, you can avoid the same amount of carbon emissions as are produced by boiling your kettle all year. Now the key to good compost is to get a mix of wet materials like this kitchen waste plus dry things like these cardboard egg boxes and these will make sure there's enough oxygen in the mix so it can all compost down properly. And remember to keep that temperature down on your wash. 30, not 40, will save you energy and money. So remember, saving energy is easy, fast and costs almost nothing. But the benefits to all of us are huge. To learn more, go to aerial.co.uk.